hello everyone welcome back to that cyber guy so are you curious to learn about cyber security and web application vulnerabilities today we are going to discuss oaps zap so buckle up and let's get started learn cyber security in no time So, uh, in the past couple of weeks, so we discussed uh, Tenable, so where we use Nessus to just scan uh, a website uh, or a domain name IP addresses to see how, you know, uh, vulnerable they are, if there is any vulnerabilities, etc. So, uh, today we are going to just continue that journey. We are going to just start to talk about you know zap zap is developed by oaps uh it's a proxy based scanner that stimulates attack on web applications for example if you build a website it's very important for you to uh scan it to see you know what the vulnerabilities are so you can just move forward you know zap is very easy uh to use you know sometimes if you're a penetration tester you know or you're a cyber security uh professional you can just use it uh, to just uh know how to just fix vulnerabilities so if you know how to, if you want to know how to download and install zap we created a, a video about that so you can just look it up uh once you download zap you can just go ahead and go to the search bar and type zap and hit enter and then it's gonna open you know you can just you know uh uh come from here when you reach that page you're gonna see you know we have a, a nice interface right here you can do automated scan manual scan you can learn more you can do so much and then once you are done with the scan you can actually you know uh, generate a report you have a tools with a bunch of stuff you know and you can export a lot of stuff as well and then you can just go ahead and just play with this because they are english yeah, and you guys can just go through this and just play one so this is a virtual machine you cannot bring anything so uh if you want to just you know do a scan you can actually click on automated scan and the only thing that you have to do is you just pass the ip address of the website or a domain name and, and you just click on our attack as you can see here you know you have multiple uh web browsers that you can use as a spider you can just use them and and go from there and then from the select you can actually you know uh click on select site you know in our case what we can do we can just try to scan a made explorable server 0.2.4 and you can just click on attack you know this can may, may take a while you know to just you know to to finish but you know uh what i'm going to do i'm going to just uh, pause the video and be back once this scan is complete as you can see our scan is complete right now so if we go to the alert tab you can actually see the server really so the red one is i uh and the yellow medium and the blue is if you over your mouse you're probably gonna see you know what it is so we have 11 of the high so what you can actually do you know if you click on them you can actually see more information for example if i wanna i can just click on the drop down and double click on that and, and see what's going on and you know from this from this side as you can see they give you a nice information and when you double click they even tell you the description of the attack and how you know the solution how to do that you can actually go ahead and go to the report tab and generate a report that will just give you like you know a nice report for example description i can say you know uh, web application pen test and then you know the site name you can actually leave it like that and then you can actually uh you see you know this is gonna turn into an html so this is very important for example if you're creating report for clients it's very important to be professional so once you click on generate you can just click on generate Once this is open, you're gonna see a very nice user interface for you. So you can just go ahead and just uh, enjoy all your reports in a very nice way. So there you go. 
as you can see here my first zap scan you see all the report is very nice you can actually share it with a client you know as a uh, HTML or you can just download it as a PDF you know many times you know when we think about uh, penetration testing we think it's like rocket science as you can see it's so easy you know many times with tools you can actually you know not only find vulnerabilities but be able to fix them now you know we are discussing a lot uh, with that cyber guy make sure that you like subscribe and share to stay relevant with the latest cybersecurity tools and trends thank you